evening ladies and gentlemen, I am Dark Tiger, and tonight I'm going to be playing XCOM in Me Within. I'm going to be trying to get it recorded again this time. Apparently recording offline and then logging into Steam. Somehow overwrote my save files with old save files, and I lost the save file I had the, my first attempt at recording this song. Anyhow, I'm sure you have two questions for me here. Number one question would be who the heck is the Dark Tiger? <laughs> I previously attempted to, you know, start up a Let's Play channel and had several videos posted. The channel was Tiger42. Uh, thank you to anyone that, any of my three followers that may have followed me over from that channel. <laughs> Due to technical difficulties, I went uh, well over a year without being able to record or upload anything. And I decided, now that I've come back, you know, trying to get back into the swing of things, I should try to just go ahead and get a fresh start. You know, fresh channel, fresh start. Clean slate. Besides, I wasn't too happy with the quality of my recording then. Not that I'm terribly, gr terribly better now, but... As for who I am, I am a 41-year-old truck driver. I tend to game when I'm parked at night, and figured I might as well try to get some recording in and post it up for anyone who's interested to watch. I don't particularly expect to attract a large following, but if I do, that would be great. <laughs> it would be extremely surprising if I got more than maybe a couple dozen subscribers. But you never know what'll happen. As it stands, I, uh, my upload schedule is generally going to be, I will upload a batch of files on the weekend. I can record during the week, but most nights I have no internet connection available, so it's uh, they'll just all go up and, on the same day, usually Saturday night or Sunday sometime. But I will try to get at least, at least five videos a week up. For that. Now, next question I'm sure you have is why am I playing XCOM when XCOM 2 is out and a new DLC pack is about to come to that, and would that be great to show off on the channel? And yes, it would if I had better hardware. I can play XCOM 2. Uh, frame rate suffers some because of my uh, hardware. It would suffer even more from uh, if I tried recording. It's not to the point where it'd be unplayable. Uh, it is a turn-based game, so... Quick reaction times aren't that critical, but it might not be as good to really put on display such a subpar uh, showing of the game. The major impact that the lower end system has on, on a XCOM 2 is fairly long load times, and I can you know, pause recording during the load times to cut them out. So that's not as much of an issue. If at some point people tell me they want to see me play XCOM 2, I can play XCOM 2. You know, there's no problem there. Excuse me. I apologize for that. <laughs> uh, where was I? Oh, yes. Um. But, like I said, I, uh, my system is lower end, so most of the games I post are going to be older games or uh, lower, uh, less system intensive indie games, stuff like that. Uh, I may run Darkest Dungeon in a bit. Uh, if I do that, I'd probably start it before I finish this, just to have, you know, maybe two games running in tandem. Uh, that's another one that I enjoy. Uh, or if I'm feeling laid back, I'll you know, record some Stardew Valley for you. Uh, and full disclosure, I, I did make another attempt to get, get a series going on this game. Uh, I was running at a classic difficulty, and one thing about me that you will quickly learn is... While I'm not a terrible player, uh, I'm not the greatest gamer either. <laughs> Expect through the course of this Let's Play uh, a whole lot of poor decisions, bad strategy, and just general derp. Misclicks will happen. 
avoidable deaths will happen. We'll just try to get through it. I play for fun. You're not if you're looking for to watch someone else play to get an idea of strategies to play better yourself, this isn't the place to be doing it if you're looking for someone who's just having fun with the game and want to go along for the journey, then hey, welcome. Feel free to feel free to watch the series. Of course, you're always free to give me any pointers, uh, suggestions, whatever, in the comments below. Just keep it civil. No need to be, you know, insulting about it. I, I know I suck. Don't need to tell me that. <laughs> Alright, uh, so enough of the rambling. Let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, we're going to do it on normal difficulty again. Uh, I got to the point where I was having... Struggling, uh, having to reload some missions two or three times just to not have a full party wipe. Well, squad wipe, whatever. And it's just... We're not we're not going to do that. <laughs> if it gets to, point, to the point where I get uh, comfortable enough with what's going on to feel that I might risk it, I can... I think you can bump up the difficulty during play. I'm not sure. But as for now, we're going to be going on normal. I'm not going to... I'm not going to wimp out fully and go easy. Uh, let's see, advanced options, uh, Operation Prodigy, we're skipping the tutorials because while the tutorials in XCOM 2 actually add storyline, they don't really add much storyline in XCOM Enemy Unknown slash Enemy Within, or shall we just call it XCOM 1, even though it's not really XCOM 1, the original XCOM was like 1990-something, but this is kind of a reboot of the series. Most of you know that already, just bear with me. <laughs> Going to reduce the beginner voiceover as well. Maybe Dr. Volan will gripe to me less about throwing grenades. Uh, let's see some second wave options. Uh, the damage roulette, new economy, you know, some of this stuff I'm not gonna, uh, training roulette, I'm not gonna bother with. These two can hurt or severely hinder me. Now the stat randomness. Let's go. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, enable those. Saves come. Mm. It'd be too tempting to you know keep reloading and try it until I get a good <laughs> until I get a good roll on something I'm trying to do. Aiming angles. The problem is I think they I think that works for the enemies as well as well as the uh, as my people so. Yeah, let's not, let's not go with that for now. Alright, and with that, let's go ahead and start the game. <coughs> Excuse me again. Got a frog in my throat, apparently. Those who play with the devil's toys will be brought to degrees to wield his sword. And what exactly is wrong with that? <laughs> Besides, we don't have rangers in this game, this one, or in this one. Those don't come along until 20 years later. Now, if you do want to know the tutorial, what it covers is basically, apparently the cinematic here happened in Germany. Uh, Germany sent some of their soldiers to investigate what went on, and the squad of soldiers they sent in... So, XCOM came in to check it out. Find some personally dead bodies, one soldier, one soldier being mind controlled to lay a trap, and the squad is ambushed by like four second words I managed to kill all but one of them, which is rather embarrassing. I guess the element of surprise went a long way for them. And that's pretty much all the tutorial. The mail tutorial is just you get a mission to collect some meld and that's about it. of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative to oversee our first and last 
last line of defense. Your efforts will have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Good luck, Commander. I always wondered what he was hiding. He's always in the shadow. I haven't finished this game. I haven't seen the ending of XCOM 2. For all I know, they may reveal his face eventually. I always kind of half expect for them to show his face and have him turn out to be one of the alien hybrids. Alright, now. Apparently if you run the tutorial, you only get to choose between North America and I think Europe. Um, see, North America is a discount on aircraft and aircraft weapons. Europe is a discount on laboratories and workshops. Asia, projects in the foundry, discounted. South America, autopsies and interrogations complete instantly. Which might be handy, but not really. Not as handy as this one. If you go in Africa, all XCOM funding is increased by 30%. More money is good. We go to Africa. Listen up. We're going to be dropping you deep in the Nigerian interior for the next operation. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Alright, Operation Cold Thunder. Alien abductions in Benin City, Nigeria. Alien abduction in progress. Milled energy signature readings are positive. Sight is clear of civilians. Collateral damage is not a concern. Neutralize hostile targets. Locate and secure milled can canisters. I'm not necessarily going to read every mission briefing because once you get through uh, the basic mission types, they, they will basically all always be the same for the same mission type. I like the zip lining in in XCOM 2 better. Strike one. This All right. is central. You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take any chances. So, as you said, don't take okay. any chances. I am pretty much going to be moving carefully as I can. I'm on it, Commander. Uh, taking stupid risks gets you killed fast in this game. It will punish you for it. Trying to get sight on as much of the area as possible. Tracking. Since we have no idea where the aliens are at this point. Alright, everyone is set up. Overwatch. Let's do this. Let's take care of that cover. Can't 
reach you. Come on. Come on. All right. Overwatch. All right. Let's see if we have a melt canister in that direction too. Go on. Go on. Thank you. Thought I clicked on that square. Apparently I didn't. Concerned about how excited you are to be throwing a grenade. On my way. All right. Can't see it, really. Huh. All right, come down here. Move in front of my guys. Come on, get him. You didn't get him. What's wrong with you? Seriously? Ow! Come on! Hey, come on! He's under full cover. Moving out. Overwatch. Roger that. See anything out this door? See that alien over there? No. Ah. All right. Sorry if I'm a little too mumbly. <laughs> Standing by for your orders. We can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts immediately. Okay, two injuries, but no one dead, so we'll call it a success. This was a triumph. 
Apparently making a note here. All right, that's enough of that. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical Hello, support Bradford. for our field operations. Just, sorry? And keeping you I briefed on the current the situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. Should be more than one. Normally, when you complete a mission, you'll, you know, the ship will fly in, you'll be able to promote soldiers that have earned it right away. Well, they've all earned promotions. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I think the first four promotions you get are always going to be one of each uh, specialty. So Commander first we start off with support. Labs. Commander to the research labs. Swamp grenade, not quite as good as a uh, specialist, but... Smoke grenade basically gives you a cloud of defense if you got someone whose ass is hanging out in the open. That's that's what you do. <laughs> it's not going to be perfect defense, but it'll help. Commander some. to the research labs. Uh, Commander sniper to the research labs. starts off with headshot. I I prefer in uh, in a, a, a XCOM 2 how the equivalent it, they're not actually called snipers, but the equivalent class starts out with. Uh, squad sight rather than head, with, rather than headshot. Headshot just gives you a better critical chance of more damage if you crit, which is good in itself. But squad sight really makes a sniper into a sniper. You know, you can hang back while your squad moves forward and and still be able to pop shots and stuff that you that are would normally be out of your range. You get squad si squad side eventually, but it's not the first skill like it is in XCOM. Commander 2. to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. Shut up! Labs. I'm promoting soldiers. All right, we got a heavy. That would be our grenadier in XCOM 2. Fire rocket. Self-explanatory. Uh. All right. And an assault. Not as good as our rangers, but. Commander to the research labs. And you start off with a running gun. Uh, you can take a double move and still shoot or go into Overwatch. It's actually quite handy. Uh, again, inferior to the rangers because no concealment and no sword. And that would be all of them. Okay. One thing I wanted to comment on is I have uh, in my options. There's an option for the your squad members to speak their native language. Yeah, you know, when they uh, bark comments and stuff, when you move them and all that, I have that turned off. And you know, while I recognize this is a you know global uh, a yeah, global task force comprised of people from all different labs. countries and stuff, diversity is all fine and good. The problem is they're they're a squad supposed to be coordinating over these radios. Why would they all be speaking different languages? And it doesn't necessarily have to be English that they all speak, but they should all speak the same language just to make communication faster and more efficient. So, as such, I turn off the native language. The recovered artifacts are right. being unloaded, and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. Alright, so, research available, xenobiology, weapon fragments, alien materials, meld recombination. Artifacts recovered, four sectoid corpses, lab. six weapon Commander fragments, 20 mil computers, lab. and a very naggy computer. Alright, so, research. Hello, Commander. My name is Dr. Farlan. I oversee the research labs. This is where all of XCOM's research and development takes place. We have already begun analyzing the artifacts recovered from our first encounter with the aliens. Based on our preliminary findings, we believe we can use them to develop some new equipment for our soldiers. With your approval, we will begin research immediately. Okay, Dr. Velen. And while I haven't completed XCOM 1, as I understand, you're a little too enthusiastic about those autopsies and interrogations. Yeah, it might be a bit creepy. Alright, research project. Uh, we're gonna go with weapon fragments. 
that'll get us a scope tag. That does seem to be the most pressing of our current An accessory item options. that'll improve our we aim. immediately. I will notify you when a complete report is available. Yet another instance where I'm reminded of how XCOM 2 does some things better. The modular weapons really make that scope more useful than it is in this game. Ah, Commander. I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Welcome to engineering. Anything they can dream up in the research labs, we can build it here. Speaking of which, Dr. Valen has just sent us some new schematics. With your approval, we will begin fabrication. Hello, Grandpa, Grandpa Mechanic. And we will build our first medkit. Alright. And that's just our quick... This is how the... This is how the, uh, the, 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 you know, this is how the engineering works. That's basically what that was. Alright. Now that I've cleared all the little exclamation marks. Uh, mission control, you scan for activity. Wait, just basically wait for time to pass until a mission pops up. Uh, we're not going to do that now because I'm going to try to keep the episodes relatively short. As such, it's going to be one mission per episode. Uh, it may lead to some episodes being exceptionally short if a mission goes really, really smoothly, but rather than try to gamble on uh, putting two missions in an episode and ending up with a really, really long episode, we're, just, we're going to keep it to one per episode. Uh, we'll do some base... Uh, or any base management that needs to be done, we'll do that too. Which reminds me, i got to check out what our... Oh, that sucks. That's the only steam pocket I have, all the way down there. Steam pockets are important because you build a, a thermal generator on them and it gives you more energy than a regular generator would give you. Sadly, we have no, we have that one steam pocket. Ah, uh, power generator. No, we're not going to do that yet. Six power, two power from every adjacent power facility. Because we're going to set some power generators up so that we can actually get some adjacency bonuses if we've only got one steam pocket. Well, we gotta push it up where we can. Alright, that's done. Everything's getting set up to go. And we are going to go ahead and call in an episode here. And I'd like to thank everyone for tuning in. Anyone who stuck with me through the end, through my babbling, thank you doubly so. If you happen to like what you see, go ahead and hit that like button. Let me know that you want to see more. Uh, feel free to subscribe. If you really liked what I saw, share it with your friends. <laughs> uh, leave me a comment below if you have any tips, or you just want to say hi. Uh, like I said, like I said at the start of the episode, just you know, keep it keep it civil. That's all I ask. Tell me I'm, no, I'm an idiot for not doing things a certain way. Just give, me, give me a tip without, without being a jerk about it. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching once again. Have a good night, everybody.